Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I wanted to show you how to make these really cute cards using my new dies, but without using the mechanism part. So I'm using the toppers and just the base part. Now I actually did show this during my launch on Craft Stash during the Facebook Live, but I wanted to do this into a YouTube video so you have it here as well for reference. But those of you that have these dies, you'll see here by using the base and the topper, you can create these small cards. And I said that these would look lovely if you'd maybe done five, maybe even 10, all together and you could pop them make a little gift box and they could be something that you could sell or they would look really nice as little table placings as well so you could have you know the person's name on here I just think they're adorable and you can see here is the cupcake and it's just delicious so I've got that lovely sparkly cherry I've done the glitter here and then the sprinkles are using a stencil and again you can see that one there with the chocolate sprinkles and I've used my embossing folder on the base here and then I've got this is a slightly shimmery gold there can you see it? it's gorgeous and I've used some glossy accents on the holly there as well but they stand up just like normal cards but I just thought there's something really nice and very quick and easy to do so let me show you how Okay, so this is the die set. So this is the 6x6 pudding and cupcake die set. So this is your mechanism to have the pop-up card. I'm just going to focus on these dies today. So I've already gone and cut one because I'm going to do the cupcake and the pudding together. So this is how you create your card blanks. This is what we want first of all. So you want this die here and then what I've got here is just a piece of A4 paper and I just folded it in half and then I'm going to lay the die down and you want to lay it down so this side comes off the edge and then when you bring it back onto it you want it to catch and you want that score line or the cut line sorry to sit next to that score line that fold there so it's, that isn't going to cut the card so you can see I can see the the uh, cut section there of the die so it's not going to cut that we want it to stay attached all we want it to do is just to cut all around here so I would suggest just to popping a little bit of tape just to keep it in place so it doesn't move and then I'm just going to run that one through my machine okay so you can get two of these out of a sheet of A4 so I'm just going to take that off it should cut through both this is 300 GSM cardstock if it is still attached which I think let's open this up here yeah mine's a Add a tiny little bit attached. Let me just grab my scissors here, just along the bottom. It's just by a thread, there's hardly anything there. And again, you're not really cutting, it's just like such a, th I can feel it's just so thin. There we go. Okay, it's so a very little waist. And we've got our two bases. Then you want to use this again to cut whatever colour you want. So I'm going to have this mint green for the base of my cupcake and then I've got the brown here for the base of my pudding because you've you've kind of lost a little bit of the size of it there because you've kept that attached but it just means when you put that over you get back that whole piece again. Okay, so I'm going to stick these both down. Okay, so I've just stuck the pudding one down so I actually want to emboss this piece. So I've got this one here which is my zigzag embossing folder and I'm going to line it up with the the bottom of the actual embossed part not the actual folder but just the pattern there and then I'm just going to run that one through my machine okay so now oh yeah it's turned out really well I just thought it was a nice pattern for the bottom of your cupcake you see now you could ink that up distress it do whatever you want so now I'm going to stick that one onto this one Okay, so while they're drying, I've then gone ahead and cut my toppings. So there's the die that will cut your icing. And you could use this as a cupcake as well. It doesn't have to be a pudding. You change the colours. I mean, if I was to put that one on top of there, you know, there's no reason why you don't turn this one into some kind of cool looking cake. You've got the cherry here, which I've also cut. You see it look really nice. So, but I've got the icing one here. And you can see when it in... When it die cuts, it also embosses this here. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of stenciling with the sprinkles and I'm gonna put some glitter into this part here. So we'll do that one in a moment. So we'll just finish off the puddings. And now I'm just gonna lay that one right over the top, just line it up like so. Okay, so that's that one stuck down. And then I've got my holly here which comes from this one where I'm also using this sentiment so a merry Christmas pudding and then the holly so I'm going to stamp 
the sentiment. I'm just going to grab my stamping platform here. Okay, and then I'm just going to lay that down. And you get a really nice sentiment printed there. So I'm just going to ink it again so it's really nice and crisp. There we go, pleased with that. Of course you don't have to do it on the icing, you could do it down here if you want and just bring the icing up a little bit higher, it's entirely up to you. But now I have my little bit of holly here and I'm just going to pop that on the top. So, and there you have a really quick but very effective Christmas card and it's very cute as well and you just open it up and inside there you've got loads of space to be able to obviously write your message. So I really like that and it stands up perfectly as well. I think these are just adorable, <laughs> very, very cute. So that is your Christmas pudding. And then we're gonna go back to this one here. So I have here one of my new stencils and this one has this kind of wallpaper effect on the top there. But then you also have sprinkles, you've got dots and you've got these kind of wavy lines for the cake. But you can do whatever you want with them. I'm just gonna ink this up, just check my color. Yeah, that's a really nice color, it's gonna work well. And I'm just going to start going across this here. So I'm just gonna do bit by bit. Let it... Like so, lift that off, there we go. You've got your sprinkles, it looks so good. And then I can see now underneath here, so I can see exactly where they are. So I'm just going to sit this one. I want to come under here a little bit more. So let's go maybe, there we go. If you work it out, it will perfectly sit in. So that's going to work out just right. So now again, like so, there we go. And then I just need to do that little corner at the top here. So again, just move the stencil around until you find the right piece of the puzzle. There we go. Perfect. Really pleased with that one. And now I'm going to go back over these sections here with my liquid glue and some glitter. So I'm just pop the glue right in where that embossed pattern is. And then I've got this snow white glitter. I seem to be using this a lot at the moment, but it's just so nice. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. Tap off any excess. And once all the rest of that glue dries clear, but now you get your icing through the top. And obviously once we've got our cherry on top there, it's going to look very delicious. Makes me hungry. Okay, and now we can attach this piece here. So I'm just going to run the glue in this part here so just like the lower part of the cake of the icing sorry and then when you lay this down you want to line up so that it just conceals the top bit there so you'll find the top of this piece will be kind of in line with these pieces here where it kind of dips in you can see now if I open it up you can see where it covers so see it just kind of hits the tops there and then I've got my sentiment here, which I've just stamped and heat embossed with some white embossing powder again from the stamp set here. And it's the Happy Birthday Cupcake at the top there. Just popped it on some foam as well. And I'm just going to attach that to the bottom. And then I'm just going to pop this just off to the left hand side down the bottom there. And then with this one, I'm going to pop it on some foam as well, just to give it a bit more dimension. What I've done is I've just die cut it with a red glitter card, then I've put a piece of white, just copy paper behind, so you get that highlight there. And now we can stick this one just there, and it will sit on that glue that's still drying anyway. But there you have your cupcake. Happy birthday cupcake. Again, really nice, quick little cards, handy ones to just keep in your stash. I think they're great for if you've got a daughter or a son to give to their school friends. I think that's super cute. Okay, so those are the finished cards. I think they look great. So I just wanted to show you some other ways to use the dies. Hopefully this gives you some more inspiration and I look forward to seeing your versions. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.